A lot of people don't know this, but Mojang is actually taking a massive risk with 1.21. And in doing so, they're breaking the pattern and schedule that they've been following with their updates for years now. And it's a big change, particularly since we haven't really seen a change like this in so long with Minecraft updates. But the question that we're going to be answering in today's video is why? Why is Mojang doing this? Because it certainly creates some danger for the 1.21 update. And that makes this choice beyond questionable on their part. Because the last thing that we need right now is yet another failed Minecraft update. So without further ado, let's begin with the risk itself. If you're watching this, you're probably familiar with the Minecraft update schedule. But for those of you who aren't, it's basically been for several years now, ever since Caves and Cliffs, that we get one major Minecraft update a year that moves up the version number by one. So the version, for example, goes from 1.19 to 1.20. And these major updates typically release around June. And we've gotten very fixed into this schedule lately over the course of several years now. We also used to get a smaller holiday update around December, but Mojang stopped doing that a few years back. But anyway, most people expected a similar release schedule this year. But from what we know, that actually isn't going to be the case. In fact, Mojang seems to be changing things up quite a bit this year, seemingly just randomly. That's right, a new release schedule finally, but it doesn't seem like there's a proper reason for it. But I think there is, and I'll be saying what it is with a bit more of an explanation in a bit. There's still some other stuff that we have to get through first, like... What exactly is this new release schedule that we're seeing for this year? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we typically get that big update around June in the summertime. Typically earlier in the summer. And we are still getting that update with 1.21. So don't worry about that, we have no reason to believe that that's not happening as usual. But, the update might be a bit smaller than you think it's going to be. And there's actually been a lot of confusion and misunderstanding about this in the community lately. So I really want to clarify things here. You see, quite a few of the major update features this year aren't actually releasing in 1.21. Yeah, the update is actually getting split for some reason. And right off the bat, that kind of sounds bad, because it brings back memories of Caves and Cliffs Part 1 and 2, and that whole catastrophe. And maybe Caves and Cliffs Part 3 and 4. But to be a bit more specific, the features, the Armadillo, Wolf Armor, and the new Dog variants are all releasing in the earlier update. That update being 1.20.5 on Java and probably 1.20.8 on Bedrock. Now, as of to when the smaller update will release, we don't know yet. Just that, of course, it should be releasing before 1.21 that will probably release around June. So we could be seeing this update potentially in March, but probably not. Maybe in April or maybe May? But I am quite certain that it will release in May, and I'll get into why in a bit. Because I think I actually have an idea of an even stricter time frame than that. And it has a lot to do with why Mojang is doing this. I mean, think about how upset people were last time that they split an update. Of course, this is a bit different, but it still seems pretty out of nowhere. But there is one thing that could maybe explain why Mojang is doing this, and that is Minecraft's 15th anniversary. With Minecraft's 15th anniversary happening soon in early May, it makes sense that Mojang might want to release an update around the time of the anniversary to celebrate. 
Of course, 1.21 probably won't be done or ready to be released by that point. So it seems like they're just looking to release most of the Armadillo and Wolf features instead, as those do appear to be just about done now. So when can we expect this update? I can say with relative confidence that we can probably expect it sometime around Minecraft's 15th anniversary. Honestly, I can't see any other reason that Mojang would split the update like this. But if you can come up with another reason, please do let me know in the comments. But moving on to the final thing that I want to talk about here. How does this update split affect 1.21? Because obviously at the end of the day, 1.21 is supposed to be the big update for this year. The one that gets hyped up the most. But this split is bad for 1.21, because of course that means less content for the update, and 1.21 really needs to succeed. 1.21 needs to be the update that restores the community's faith in Mojang, basically, because things really can't keep going like they are now. And to be honest, things are just kind of getting worse with things like the marketplace. But the point is that 1.21 needs every bit of good content that it can get. And people seem to like the wolf armor and the new wolf variants and the armadillo. So taking those out of the update that's meant to draw the attention of the community seems like a bad idea. And 1.21, even with the latest snapshot containing the mace and some other things, is still a bit behind on amount of content compared to 1.20 at this point last year. And of course, that's not a good sign for the update at all. So, taking away what so far seems to be this year's fan favorite content, with the wolf armor and wolf variants, that is a massive risk for Mojang. And so if Mojang goes through with this, and it seems like they are going to, it could end really poorly for them. But alas, hopefully things turn out well in the end. Because Minecraft needs a win right now. Probably more than ever before. That'll do it for this video. Please consider subscribing if you're interested. That always helps me a lot. And for now, goodbye.